An ardent listener of CBS FM, if you are, this morning must have left you puzzled when you found that your favorite presenters were speaking gibberish. <laughs> this is mornings at NTV at the Serena rooftop. Yes, and your presenter this morning, Abu Kawenja. As always, you know, a square. <laughs> the same goes for you early birds who tune in to NTV's morning show. You probably looked for a radio to prove that you were not watching Radio CBS. But TV, disturbing, right? Until you somehow figured out that the day of foolery had descended on you, you were hoaxed. It has been April Fool's Day. And NTV presenters swapped with CBS presenters. Epic, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Not as someone who has lied to, but how do you feel as a liar? Tell me about it. All right, uh, it was very exciting in the morning, and I was quite, I was really uh, so anxious. You know, the CBS audience is different. But while he had fun, other people were left deflated. A man in Mitiana experienced one of his worst nightmares. From ward to ward at the main hospital in the district, he went looking for his wife and child, whom was told were in a critical condition after having a horrible accident. The caller hid his identity, but I later found out that my wife was somewhere else. His heart was still unsettled until he got a call of reassurance that all was well from an unknown number. Imagine he called me dance and asked me whether I had ever heard of Fool's Day. NTV's own Dean Loa Sava rushed home with a heavy heart after his younger siblings told him that his mother had passed on. A hoax, it was. He insists he will not talk to them for at least a month. Some really do not know of the day. In fact, I like the day because there are other people who are not informed. And uh, to make them to be informed, they need to be told something not real. On Twitter and Facebook, I failed to secure any interviews even when I saw people lamenting about pranks. Like this one which reads, I've fallen for so many pranks today. And this one, these fools the pranks are getting old. Both refused to give me interviews for this news piece, saying I was hoaxing them. Indeed, the day is marked by pulling pranks in most countries, and then one can be prey. In some countries like Uganda, the jokes last until noon. Anyone who continues is an April fool, while in others like America, all day. Real news is doubted as well on this day, sad really in some cases, like the death of King George II on April 1, 1947, and the tsunami that killed 165 people in Hawaii. This became known as April Fool's Day Tsunami. People drowned, thinking the warnings were hoaxes. The hatred for the day continues for this man 18 years later, after the birth of his daughter on April Fool's. She was born. I was cold, but I refused to show up. I continued with my work, and later when I went home, there she was, he says. The origins of the day are uncertain, but it started being popularized by British pranksters in 1700. Despite awareness of the day, there is always a gullible person to be hooked and netted like a fish. Florence Oliver, NTV. Uh -huh. <laughs>